What are while loops? The while loop is a loop that repeatedly executes the code block when the condition is true. Let's make a counter that counts to 10. So we'll use an int called counter and we'll set it to zero. Now for the condition of the while loop, we will set the condition is only true while the counter is less or equal to 10. So let's create a while loop. We use the word while emphasis. And inside here, we can put our condition, same like how we do with if statements. So for our condition to be true, the counter must be less than or equal to 10. As long as the counter is either less than or equal to 10, the while condition will be true. So inside the body, we'll write out the number to the console. So we use the console out function the shift operator um, and we'll put our counter we'll do another left shift operator and we'll just put a little space terminator we put that little space to space out the numbers a little now once it's done that we need to increase the counter by one, otherwise this would just keep happening over and over, forever and ever. So we'll put counter and we will increase it by one. Now let's run the console. And as you can see, it's printed out zero to 10. The do while loop this loop will execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true or false and then repeatedly executes the code block while the condition is true. So basically, this loop will always execute at least once even if the condition is false. So let's change our counter to 10. And so to write a do loop, you have to put the word do, give it a body. Our code will go down. And down here, we'll say while, and inside parenthesis, we put our condition. And inside our condition, we will say whilst our counter, is greater or equal to zero. We put terminate on the end and inside the body, we'll say console out, left shift operator, the same like before, we'll put a counter, left shift operator, and we'll put a little space again. And down here, we need to decrease the counter. So we put counter and we decrement the counter. So when we run it, it should first print to the console the number and then decrease it. Then checks to see if it's greater or equal to zero. So let's run the program. And as you can see, it's gone from 10 all the way down to zero. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.